This is my 2007 Honda Civic Si. It is a fairly nice car, but it has one very annoying characteristic, and that is the throttle sticks. Now you may have heard about Toyota having a problem with the sticky throttle, but this is different. With the Toyota, the throttle would stick rarely, if at all. With this Honda, the throttle sticks for every owner and every single time you push the gas pedal down. I will show you this as I go through the gears. When the RPM gets to 8,000, I push the clutch and simultaneously take my foot off of the gas pedal. I then wait for the RPM to drop before releasing the clutch. Notice that it takes over a second for the RPM to drop. The throttle is stuck at nearly 8,000 RPM for well over a second. I will repeat this. Keep your eye on the gas pedal and notice how the RPM remains high even after my foot is removed from the gas pedal. Now of course, no one wants to drive like this. A 1.5 second pause between each gear shift, with the RPM whining near the red line, everyone will think you're an idiot. The only thing you can do is to continue shifting as if the RPM did drop. This then results in a very jerky drive, and then everyone thinks you're an idiot who doesn't know how to drive a stick. Here's what happens. Notice how letting the clutch out causes the RPM to drop. This also results in the car lurching forward each time. The reason for this video is to warn you not to buy this car. I first heard about this problem in 2006 while reading reviews for it. Back then, everyone was optimistic that Honda would soon come out with a firmware update that would fix this problem. Recently, when my clutch burned out, after only 54,000 miles, I asked Honda to make sure I had the latest version. They charged me $1,600 for a new clutch, and the firmware still sucks. I searched the internet and found a forum for 2012 Honda owners. It looks just like what I saw back in 2006. Everyone thinks that Honda has just come out with this firmware update to fix the problem, but no one can figure out how to get it. To me, it is inconceivable that Honda does not know about this problem. It has been pissing off its owners for seven years now. I think it is safe to assume that there will be no firmware update. Watch my other video about a firmware problem that Honda has known about for six years now and also refuses to fix. I put links in the video description.